If the president wins a second term, you will see a flurry of executive orders. You will see the president pull out of foreign alliances. You, you will see the president align with dictators around the world. If right now we're less safe because we have fewer friends and stronger enemies than before, you can expect to see that on steroids in another four years of the Trump administration. There came a point, Jake, where saying no was no longer enough and it was time to get out. And I hope that good people who are there will stay in and try to keep things on the rails. But if the president's reelected, the guardrails will be gone and he will try to implement a vision that I think is much more damaging to our nation's security than even what we've seen in the last four years. Like what? I'll tell you this. There are people serving very close to the president that have told me verbatim, we should expect, quote, shock and awe. A number of staunch Republicans have come out in support of Vice President Biden's candidacy, among them Miles Taylor, who served as chief of staff for the Department of Homeland Security during the Trump administration. Taylor says that what he witnessed inside the White House was terrifying and the U.S. is less secure because Trump is president. At the end of the day, the man with his finger on the nuclear trigger is a man whose mind is not on his job on a daily basis. That is alarming, and that isn't something that just a handful of folks in the administration felt. Now, I may be one person speaking out. You're going to see more people in the coming weeks, Jake. But what they're going to tell you is that this was a widespread sentiment in the administration. There are a lot of folks very close to the president who still feel this way about him, about his leadership, uh, and about a desire that he not have a second term in office. I'm speaking about this as a lifelong Republican, okay? I had hopes that this president would live up to expectations, or even those who didn't have high expectations for him, that he might be able to do his job effectively with support. That didn't come out the way that we had planned, and I think at this point, it's a time for us to put country over party, and I hope other Republicans will do the same. Who are the people that run the world. It's not some shadowy secret society. It's the very people you'd think. Politicians, the ultra-rich, military contractors, monarchs, media moguls. Hi, I'm Sean Morrow, the host of Who Is the Podcast, the first podcast from Now This and iHeartRadio. On Who Is, I'll dive deep into the fascinating lives of the people who run things, those whose decisions impact every aspect of our lives. How did they get where they are today? And knowing that, what might they do next? How do they use all this power they've accumulated? From Vice President Mike Pence and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi to Chief Justice John Roberts and whatever it is Jared Kushner does, on Who Is, I'll introduce you to the reporters and experts who know these real life world molders best. Sharp-eyed observers and confidants who work with, follow, and examine our subjects every day. For more, hit the link below or search Who Is on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Also, don't forget to hit up the Who Is Snapchat, YouTube, and Facebook pages for the series playlist to check out all the video episodes you may have missed.